You have surely noticed that our priorities have changed during the last weeks, during the last month. I don't know if you remember, but our country is governed by a liberal minority government. And people was wondering, you know, how long will it last? And, and the conservative had, uh, have a leadership race and who's going to win. And, and unless to be a really hardcore militant these days, we look at this. and uh, Or another example is, uh, as I'm recording this, April 14, we're supposed to be in the NHL playoff. You know, the fever, hockey in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, we might miss it, but, you know. Uh... Or, or for those of us who tend to be a little uh, late in preparing your papers, um, income tax season. Suppose this is the time of the year we're looking for a receipt and said, yeah, we need to get organized. And my papers are just there on my desk and I haven't moved in quite a while. No, it's, there's things like that. There's things like... Um, is our house is clean or not, or how our air or beard look like? There's, it's still important, but it's not the same. You know, as we say, when we look at the big picture, uh, it's not a big deal overall. Now we trying to organize our ed, try to organize our mind or life around what is really important, what is essential. And a few days ago, we celebrated Easter. And as I said, it was in my Easter message, it was really bizarre. And because usually at Easter, we talk about new life, renewal, new hope. And this year we're still in confinement. And each day on the news, we have a new death toll, and it's not reassuring. And the challenge for those of us who believe in God is always to connect the good news of the empty tomb with our society. But this year, the challenge is even bigger to, to connect this uh, amazing great news to our current situation but somehow maybe one once again we are a little closer to the first disciple because yes they have been told that the tomb is empty Christ is risen then what <laughs> what are they supposed to do I'm sure they're wondering. You know, that that's great news. Hallelujah. But now, what's the next step? So we should go back to our former lives? Or what? Another thing I say often is resurrection is different from resuscitation because resurrection implies transformation. And not just the body of Jesus or his appearance but it's also transformation for the disciples and not right away but fairly soon they discovered that going back to what they used to be go back to what we say go back to normal was not enough something different something I would say deeper needed to happen and they did not knew right away what it was but they have this feeling they have this urge maybe to look at life differently to do things differently organize their life differently and for us I guess it's the same Yes, our first priorities right now is to survive, stay healthy, feed our family, and uh, make sure that everybody is okay. Yes, absolutely, 100%. But 
The thing is that this Christ will end. Some days we might be discouraged, sometimes some, some moments in our days we said it will never end, but it will end. And we will get out. We will resume our activities. The question is, what will happen? We, will we go back to normal? And with everything that normal implies, yes, for some it's wonderful, but for others it's a question of going back to poverty, discrimination, inequity, individualism. That's also part of our society. Do we want to go back to this? Or do we see this crisis as horrible it is? But when we will get out of it, is it an opportunity to build something else, to be different? And we might not know right away what we will do. And we know that we will not reinvent capitalism and our churches will not be full with new people. But still, we can already begin this transformative journey by believing that something can change. In us, that's always the first place to begin, in us. And then with our family, with our loved ones, with our little community and larger. And when we will get out, that could be our message. That yes, resurrection had happened and this resurrection could be a desire for something better something new something renewed i hope you are able to find some hope in those challenging times in those tiring times i hope that you keep the faith that yes we will get out yes there will be resurrection, and yes, change is possible. Take care of yourself, and bye-bye.